it's time for another video and here we go um, reading because of Al Jazeera I actually bought this book I, I had planned on in the distant future uh, covering Hinduism uh, but I feel I feel like it's a good time to do an introduction because the, the book that I just showed very good uh, so far I'm on the 90th page and there's over 400 very good book very interesting so far and um, it's it actually confirms some things I saw on PBS um apparently the Indo the European languages and the languages uh, well part of some of the languages on the Indian subcontinent as well as the Iranian language, among others, are descended from a common ancestor. There was an Indo-European uh, language that was, it was an actual language that apparently they can't well, can reconstruct the language because there's no written uh, material. And for the, the um, analytics and the skeptics on history, this is why history is an important field, and why written information from the past, even though it may not be 100% reliable, it is still very useful. The fact that um, we know that, that the European languages and, and the, uh, those other languages come from a common ancestor is because uh, Celts, Romans, uh, people of the Indian subcontinent, 88% of them, uh, Iranians, those languages share similar words, um, especially the older versions of so Old Persian, uh, Sanskrit, and um, the Celtic languages and and Latin. There are actually similar similarities um, in the vocabulary, and according to this book, the Hittite civilization, which was a rival to ancient Egypt which was located in Anatolia or where present day Turkey is, the uh, Hittites had the same gods as the, as the uh, Hindus. Uh, Vish, is it Vishnu? Uh, instead of me saying it, let me see if I can hunt down the actual, yeah, I actually wrote it down um, on a three by five card. Uh, okay, here we go. Vernic Sanskrit, one of the oldest uh, recorded forms of language family and I, I paraphrased, I wrote on this card, so I paraphrased. I didn't, you know, to use proper grammar for the grammar Nazis. But um, they all come from the uh, Norse, Norse slash uh, Germanic. Um, they all come from this family, this the, the, where, where Vedic Sans, Sanskrit came from. And uh, the Hittites had uh, Indra, Mitra, Varanu, and Ashvins as uh, gods. Again, these are some of the same gods as, as um, Hinduism. Uh, around 4,000 to 3,000 BC, the uh, Indo-European language broke up into separate uh, families. Another interesting fact that I found out by reading this book so far is that the Indo-European speakers may have been the first people to uh, domesticate horses, which gave them a tactical advantage which is why they were able to uh, conquer, especially in the case of the Indians, they were able to conquer the entire subcontinent from the Dravidians. The Dravidians, uh, their language and the other languages of South India are not related to uh, Hindi. According to this source, um, only 22% of the languages of the Indian subcontinent uh, are not Indo-European. and These range from Tamil to um, small tribal languages. And there's a theory that these Dravidian people were dark, dark-skinned people, uh, which I which I tend to agree with. This coincides with what I saw on PBS and what a lot, what a lot of the the scientific research says. And a lot of people disagree with this, but uh, humanity originated in Africa, and you know they migrated around the world. When you look at the natives of the Alderman Islands, uh, that's that tends to uh, make me believe that that must be true because here you have these people uh, in the Indian Ocean that look essentially they look African. So uh, for for me that that confirms it. I got you know and it, science is always um, do, doing more further research and and you know so you never know to a hundred percent. But uh, anyway, back to the topic on Hinduism. What prompted me to read about it 
uh, now instead of later is uh, Al Jazeera did a story about the persecution of uh, non-Hindus um, and, and pogroms. I hate to use that word, but basically like uh, religious or race riots against non-Hindus, like uh, Muslims uh, will eat meat. And um, just recently, uh, just uh, don't take my word for this, look at uh, Al Jazeera. An uh, eight-year-old girl was gang raped in India by Hindus because they heard that her people had eaten beef. Uh, cows are a sacred uh, animal to uh, Hindus, and actually, I think it's one of their gods. I, I'm, I'm not going to 100% say that until I get through this book because so far, this book seems to be really uh, objective in its approach to um, commentary on Hinduism. Uh, for example, it actually says a uh, Hinduism itself is a misnomer. From what it says is there is thousands of, of cults and millions of gods in India that all get lumped into the category of Hinduism. But the long and short of it is that uh, these uh, Hindus, their beliefs, I, I kind of put them only one step above, uh, or actually probably the same as the tribe, the tribe I'm talking about, Judaism. To me, both of the religions seem to be um, racially based. Like, uh, for example, with uh, Hinduism, uh, there's a group called the Delete, and it's a caste. It's the lowest caste, the darkest people. And that coincides with what's, what this book actually says, that these um, Indo-European speakers conquered India and subjected the Dravidians and essentially told them, you know, hands off of our cows and horses. They're sacred, which... Um, which is why there's probably this taboo against beef is because the original uh, conquerors. And actually, instead of me paraphrasing, let me read you uh, briefly the what I have um, underlined. And again, I don't want to um, want you to think I'm uh, making this stuff up as I go. But uh, once upon a time, the story goes: blonde-haired uh, the person put blue-haired. Wow, blonde-haired, blue-eyed people from the north drove their chariots into India, beat the hell out of dark-skinned people who lived there. Now, you know, I, I and, and again, this is, this is based off of a mythological story, what I just read. And to me, it kind of coincides with reality because if you have these delete, these people who are at the bottom cast and they're darker people, there has to be something to that story uh, I can't prove this, but um, it's a theory. <laughs> I think that, um, and also they said these people were some of the first to use chariots, the um, Indo-European speakers. Uh, you know, harness horses and were the first that, that that would give you a big advantage over people who were just using um, foot power. You know, just. But um, this interesting stuff, I'm going to try to read this book as quickly as I can. I can't make any promises because I'm also working on other stuff. Um, I'm going to write a book about why, and and I'll actually add Hinduism to it too, these destructive religions that pretty much need to be discarded and, and ostracized from modern life. Because um, anytime you have people gang raping eight-year-olds for because they think that... Um, you know, the people ate beef. It's it's a big problem. Uh, I also don't like, and the, you know, for obvious reasons, having uh, uh, people who uh, actually religiously believe that dark-skinned people are inferior and deserve to be um, treated as less. Uh, I don't think that's a good thing. Uh, the quicker humanity could get to actual either merit-based uh, societies or just... Um, equity base where people get similar starts and privileges till that happens it'll be worth um going against the uh, religious beliefs like these but watch those stories on al jazeera and others there's other sources too that show you some of and actually i was listening to pharaohese radio because one of my hobbies is um i study uh, germanic languages and once i'm done with this language i think i'll move on to uh, swahili but I've, I've studied Old English, and I know it. But um, I'm, right currently, I'm doing Faroese. Uh, and I was listening to Faroese radio, and this Indian man said that Hinduism, he said that he left India 
and migrated to Denmark because and converted to Christianity because he and his family were persecuted because they were from the bottom caste. And these are his words. He said that India is racist, superstitious, and um, it's it's um, uh, based. He he said that people said his family was cursed, and this he said it's really a miserable place to live because of the religion. And he was talking about Hinduism. So don't get mad at me. This was a gentleman from India. I can't recall his name, but it was on Faroese Radio on um, on the religious channel. I can't recall the name of the channel right now, but in a future video, I'll reference it since I've made the claim. I'll back it up. But for now, I've, I've reached my time limit. But yeah, Hinduism is another one of these religions I'm going to tackle. But I found it uh, interesting, and in before I go, that all these um, Indo-European uh, languages had similar words, which, and by the way, it said the uh, Aryan, uh, it was talking about the Nazis, uh, they said the original Aryan people, they, they didn't have a, the same appearance, but they spoke the same language, uh, of course, and the word Aryan itself meant either good guy or us, it meant us, the, um, the pronoun, or it meant um, um, the good guys, I found that uh, funny. But, um, yeah, Aryans were just one of the uh, many uh, Indo-European speaking groups. You had Celts, uh, the people who would go along, who eventually would become the Romans. They all come from the, the, a similar family. Interesting stuff. Uh, you, you know, harness the power of horses, which gave them an advantage. The Celts, look this up, don't take my word for it. Most of Europe, the, the entire continent, was at one time it was dominated by the Celts. So, um, I found it interesting, but yeah, Hinduism is another one of those uh, religions that needs to be severely critiqued and put in its place, and um, that place is the same place that uh, Judaism, Christianity, and um, the other Abrahamic religions, um, uh, Sunni, quote-unquote Sunni Islam, they all need to be uh, put in check, uh, otherwise, <laughs> it, 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 life isn't as good as it could be, but... I'll stop here and um, see you in a future video.